Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our monthly Teldio webinar. Um, today we are going to discuss the new our new Hot Sauce API integration. Before I get started with that, though, a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, first, everyone is muted, so uh, cough, drink, whatever you need to do, as much as you like. I won't hear you. Um, any questions you have, please uh, use the chat feature, and you can uh, you can type those in at any time that you have a question, and we'll go over any of those questions at the end. Uh, we are recording this today, so you'll be able to go back and and rewatch this as many times as you like because it is going to be that great, and you can also share it with your colleagues who may have missed it. And with that, we we can get started. So about Teldio, I think everyone on the call by now that uh, has, has been to these webinars is familiar with us, but if you're not, we're, we started in 2008 and we're here to develop applications for radios. And we started as an, an application developer and now we've, we've grown into more of an integrator and we integrate things um, into to all facets of, of a customer's enterprise including hot sauce so hot sauce if you're not familiar with it um, you should probably be familiar with it because most of your the the hospitality customers in your area are using it about 70 percent of global ho hotel brands use it uh, there is a an integration via email that we actually had used before and there's an api and the api actually works much better and it's a work ticketing system. It handles uh, maintenance requests, things like that. One note about hot sauce. If you've ever been to a hotel with hot sauce or if you've ever talked to hot sauce, hot sauce's main goal is to sell more licenses on smartphones. So in general, they aren't very receptive to radios. So the important thing is getting your customer to understand that they can have both radios and cell phones because that's what hot sauce really pushes. So helping them understand that is very important that they can keep cell phones where they need to and then have the right staff have radios where they need radios. Setting up hot sauce is very easy with the API, actually all of the work gets done in hot sauce. And we're actually gonna show you that here shortly. So there's radio users, radio groups, and something, the concept of hot sauce teams, which if you're familiar with hot sauce, that then you know what I'm talking about. If not, we'll, we'll get to that in a little while. But that's specific to hot sauce. And all of that is gonna, once the hot sauce, uh, information is set up then that goes uh, through the cloud hot sauce is a cloud-based guest management system and then into and then through our gateway through a control station and out to the customers radios so to integrate to the radios we can do we can do it a few different ways we can do it with uh, just plain radio text Motorola job tickets or Teldio smart tickets, which is something we developed on the option board. So for smart tickets, you need the XPR 7550 or the SL 7550 uh, or the E models, anything that, that has the option board and the, the larger screen. So smart tickets is, is what we developed to make Motorola job tickets better and it automatically updates a ticket status when another user updates the status. Motorola job tickets and text messages are not, don't work that way, so they need to go in and clear out all of their messages along the way. So having the smart tickets with hot sauce and the number of messages, that's a really big, differentiator for the Teldio solution and making the workflow for the customers work so much better. It's so much more streamlined having 
smart tickets there for the customers. You can see how it works here. So the hot sauce ticket goes out, worker accepts it. And without smart tickets, no one else knows if it's been handled. And so not only do they not know, so you might have a few people going after it or a few people uh, trying to reply to it and then getting back a message. It, it just really gums up the works, if you will. With smart tickets, first person accepts it, and then the ticket status is auto-updated. So it actually removes that ticket from their radio and they no longer see it. If they're looking at the radio at the time, it actually will flash across and says, ticket handled by another user. If they're not looking at it, it just goes away. They'll never know it existed. And so as you can see, with smart tickets, users only see unacknowledged tickets. So anything that someone hasn't acknowledged or accepted, then that's the only ones they will see. And we've, we've done a, a few other things with, uh, with the API as well. Once we got in there, we're, we're able to do some things. So smart tickets is one, and that's, you know, just bringing the functionality we had into the hot sauce world. But another one is retries. So now we will retry sending the message until a radio acknowledgement has been received, but it does not require ARS. So it does not clog up the radio network with the retries. The other thing is users can pick up the radio and sign in with their hot sauce employee ID. So that's useful for hotels uh, and properties where they don't have a radio for every employee and they just sign out radios or grab a radio at the beginning of their shift and they need to sign in, they need to get tickets specific to them. They can do that by logging in on the radio with their ID. The other thing is making the messaging flexible. So what we mean by that is some things uh, require a response, some things do not. So in hot sauce, there is, uh, they have memos. And so we can send those just as radio text. So no re response is required like saying, hey, there's an all hands meeting in, in 15 minutes or uh, you're needed at the front desk, what have you. So we can send, choose to send those uh, memos just as radio text. So that just goes, no acknowledgement is required. But if there's requires a response and then, you know, in hot sauce, there's things like start, stop, completed. People can use, they can use smart tickets for that. So bringing towels to a room is the example here, or, um, you know, if there's a, someone need, needs help somewhere and they, you want to verify that it gets done and you require a response, that's when smart tickets are used. So again, we're, we're making it flexible so that the users aren't spending all their time responding to things they don't need to. They don't need to respond okay to come to the front desk. So now Mark's gonna show you what some of this looks like uh, in the customer screen, because I know that's always a big concern when you're talking to a customer. Um, you may not have ever seen hot sauce, and you know, a lot of times the customers don't know exactly what's going on. So this is, we're gonna show you exactly uh, what, what we do to make this work and just how easy it is to get going. Uh, getting hot sauce onto your radios. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, so uh, hello everyone, it's Mark. Um, I'm gonna quickly just kind of run you through the setup of, of what would need, need to be done within hot sauce to set it up uh, for the Teldeo uh, gateway API integration. Uh, so right now we've got our essentially our sandbox environment for what we use to test with hot sauce. Um, this is their orders console screen, so we don't have any tickets open at the moment. But I'm going to actually go down, scroll down to the user management, and show you how to set up uh, individual radio users as well as uh, groups. Uh, so as you see here, when you click under uh, devices under user user management, this is where you would actually create uh, the different individual uh, radio devices or, or radio users, and then uh, your talk groups or your radio groups. Um, 
So for example, here we got three different radios, radio 221, 224, 227, and then uh, groups that represent the engineering radios and the housekeeping radios. Uh, at the moment, because we're in our sandbox environment, the provider is test, uh, but for the actual customer, when they're selecting this, they would see Teldio as a provider, and that's what they would select um, uh, when creating these devices. Uh, and then there is, uh, with Hot Sauce, you do need to uh, have a device license uh, for the different users and for the different great groups. Uh, next, you would uh, go to personnel. Um, this is where you would create a essentially persona for each one of the devices. Um, so for example, here we've got personas or personnel for the different groups as well, uh, engineering and housekeeping, housekeeping. And then we've got three different users, Kevin Roberts, Dimitri Silva, and, and Teldio System is uh, our login. Um, oh, and this is where uh, that whole sign in, sign out feature that Jeff uh, mentioned um, this is the code uh, that would be set up within Hot Sauce, and this is the code that they would use from the radio to sign in. So, for example, in this setup, we actually uh, see that uh, uh, Mark Dabrowski signed in from Radio 221. So, uh, when signing in, he would have entered 444, hit OK, and then on Hot Sauce, it would say, OK, this came from Radio 221. That's the device that Mark's using. So, in the future, if we need to send tickets specifically to a particular person, then we can select Mark, and it'll go to the right device. Uh, next is uh, Teams. Uh, so here again, we've got the two different groups or teams, engineering and housekeeping. Uh, when we look at the actual details, uh, we can see uh, what the delivery rules are. And, and so this could be different based on the hot sauce uh, environment, how they want tickets handled, whether they just want to have the tickets go out to everyone in one shot, uh, one blast or figure out which users are actually already on calls and don't send the ticket and send it to someone else. For this setup, we were just sending out, out to everyone. Uh, as far as the default device goes, we say, okay, by default, send it to the engineering radios group so that everyone receives it. And then in here, you can say, uh, this is where you specify uh, the different users uh, in, in the group, uh, as well as the group itself. So this is important when you want to send out a ticket to a group of radios, but want to know who specifically accepted it. Because when we get the message back from the radios, uh, we see the radio ID and it's, uh, specify it with the ticket. And then within Hot Sauce, you'll see a uh, ticket was sent out and then Rob, uh, Kevin Roberts accepted it and he's working on it. Um, so that's setting up the different uh, users and personnel. Um, so in here, when creating an actual ticket itself, Sorry, cancel. When creating a ticket yourself, uh, itself, uh, you would have uh, specified the, what the issue is. Uh, let's say new towels, uh, where uh, this uh, ticket is needed. Uh, you can specify a guest if you know who the guest is. Uh, but the critical thing is uh, who to direct it to. And so this is where you would say, okay, I want to send it either to a, an individual person, so you would select the, the different people, or the entire team. Um, so, for example, this would just go to housekeeping uh, team, and then uh, you could set priority if you want to, uh, and this would be um, all specified in the details of the message that go out to the radios. And then, so this goes out to the housekeeping team. They would get a, a message on their radio, whether it's a smart ticket or a job ticket, uh, uh, that's how they would show up. And then when someone responds back, uh, it would actually say, uh, who uh, accepted it, and it was uh, set up their assigned details here. Uh, the other type, that, the part of the flexible messaging that Jeff mentioned before, is that we can send out just memos to radios. And so here under send message, this is where you just want to kind of quickly send a, a text, a short text message, an SMS, for example, to an individual uh, radio user or to uh, a group. And so you uh, select who you want to send it to. Um, the, the remark or the memo that you want to send, hit OK, um, hit OK, and then that would be sent out as a text message uh, over the radio channel to, to the radio groups. All right, so uh, we do have one question. Uh, um, this is uh, uh, Damitri from Teldio. Just another thing that we want to touch on is when uh, when you send a message, uh, um, an order to uh, a hot sauce team, 
as a, uh, opposed to a group, uh, it also saves you a lot of radio traffic because what we do is you could have 10 people in housekeeping group and uh, usually with hot sauce that would send 10 individual messages. So you're sending 10 private radio messages to 10 radios. But uh, with us using Teams, what it would do is it would just a single send a single group message to the radios and then uh, you would get a single response back from a radio. So instead of sending 10 plus one messages, 11 messages, you are just sending two group messages. So that saves a lot of radio traffic, uh, radio bandwidth as well. So uh, yeah, I believe uh, that's really, uh, that's the presentation. If you have any questions, uh, always uh, you can send an email to sales at and they will take care of you.